Hey loves, just a reminder, you don't have to do anything to manifest your specific person. Your specific person wants to come after you. And this reality, literally everyone and everything in it wants to bring you exactly what you want. And so remember, allow them to come to you. Allow your reality to bring you exactly what you want. And I actually wanted to go over a quick kind of topic in order to insist on this. So if you feel like you are trying really, really hard to manifest and you're kind of seeing the opposite or not much movement, then this is going to be the idea for you. Because remember, Neville Goddard always talked about, we never have to worry about how or when our manifestation is gonna show up in our reality. And obviously, you've heard me say it before, 100% of every single worry you are ever going to have in a manifestation literally comes from how and when. I would literally try to think of an anxiety or a worry or a fear that does not come from how or when while manifesting your specific person. And seriously, if you do have any other worries or things like that that are outside of that, comment them down below because I have found if you want to eliminate 100% of all the worries you could ever imagine when you are manifesting, just take your mind off of how or when. And the funny thing is when you actually do this, you actually manifest a million times faster because the state of already having what you want is actually a state of unlimited patience, right? You can't be impatient towards something you feel as if you already have. And so keep that in mind every single step of the way. But you might be asking, and this is kind of the, the meat of this video of, okay, how? How do I not worry about the how, <laughs> right? And this is a question we get asked a lot, and it's it's really actually simple. And the trick is, and I was actually the reason I'm making this video is because I was actually um, talking about it in a lot of my coaching sessions today, my email coaching, is that why is more important than how? Meaning, if you know why you're doing what you're doing, then that is a million times important than focusing on how to do it. And this is going to change your momentum, change your perception. And again, I'll explain this a little further. Because when you know why you want what you want, you can make it through any how or any circumstance. Because truly, none of those actually have any effect on you at all. Really, no, there's no circumstance you cannot manifest or create out of. And I would actually argue that circumstances are created specifically to help you manifest, which I know sounds crazy on the surface, but it absolutely is true. But ask yourself why you want your specific person and then tell me that there is absolutely nothing you would do to make that happen. Think about your future together. Think about what the point of all this is. It's kind of like to create this into a metaphor is to imagine if you were attempting to lose weight or learn how to play the guitar, right? All those, all the <laughs> metaphors I always use. In that case, What's the point of that? And if you know what the point of that is, it's going to make everything worthwhile. And this actually, so thinking of law of assumption, because this is all why we're here, this puts you into the state. When you know why you want something and you focus on that, like being married, being in the relationship, having kids, having the perfect life, that, thinking upon that and keeping that within your imagination produces massive happiness massive contentment and massive satisfaction, i.e. the feeling that you already have it. But I'll give you actually a couple ways in which to do this because by focusing on why, you contain the motivation and conviction to literally process or switch states right here and right now. And all it takes is a little, a little focus on exactly what you want. And if you have, if you're kind of like, I don't know how to do this, um, in my previous video, I literally kind of do like a mini workshop that has a link in the description. So just watch that video. And there's three meditations to make you feel as if you're waking up to your specific person or I'm posting it for my members as well. But remember, the motivation and conviction to change your reality right here and right now, that's going to detach you from the feelings of how, because you don't need to do anything. And I know it seems hard to like think about that, but when you know why, there's no, the how will be automatic. It'll be easy. It literally, if you do this well enough, it literally ceases to exist. 
because it it keeps that motivation. Because what's the thought that kind of it starts to kill our manifestation? The thought is, what if I can't? What if this doesn't happen? What if they don't like me? What if I do all this and it still doesn't work? That when you know why you want something, that thought disappears completely because that's the only thought creating and making time is a factor. And so there is a couple things you could do, though, because remember, just as much as we want to focus on exactly what we want. Remember, there's actually two versions of our or two ways that people can actually approach manifesting or creating anything. So half of us are people who are focused and motivated by where we want to go, okay? So this would be like you just knowing and thinking about why you want to manifest your specific person. That's enough conviction to feel it right now. Because again, your reality can change just like that when you have enough conviction. But you might be asking, what are those other, what's the other half? And the other half is actually moving away from what we don't want. So half of us move towards what we want and the other half moves away from what we don't want. And if you want to figure out which one you are and literally close this gap to no longer worrying about how and quantum leaping to the reality you want, there's two things that you need to do. Just take out a piece of paper and start writing down why you want to be with your specific person. What is awesome? What's the most amazing things? And why can be a negative and positive? Because you could be like, why do I want this? Because I want to move towards this. But why I want this? Why I, <laughs> what I don't want? What you're moving away from? But write down all the things you would gain being with your specific person. And if this gives you massive motivation, enlightenment, happiness, and is putting you into the state do that constantly because, again, you don't have to actually do anything by assuming the state and thinking upon this and having this conviction. You are creating your reality. But as well, you can motivate yourself to this feeling of um, the end state. So I would do both of these by actually writing down. And I know this is going to seem like the opposite of manifestation, but write down what you have to lose by not getting into the state. What do you have to lose by doubting yourself every moment? What do you have to lose by not using techniques to create the reality you want? What do you lose what do you lose by not assuming the state right here and right now? And I would say don't don't try this portion if you are <laughs> if you have the faint faint of heart because this can cause you to literally shift your reality instantly by a process of <laughs> I don't want to say fear but kind of because when you know that Every moment, you could be with your specific person any moment and every single moment, I'm not going to, I don't want to say this, but every moment that you don't assume the state um, is just another moment that you don't get to spend another date with your specific person because why not? I want you with your specific person right here and right now. But again, I would not, do not do this <laughs> if you are, um, if you score high in neuroticism, mean, meaning like you fall into an anxious state very quickly, this will just make you more anxious. So literally do not do that portion if you are not someone who moves away from what they don't want. Um, but it can be highly convincing and motivating to create and assume the state. Because remember, I know it doesn't seem like this. And it's kind of, again, talking about the previous video of that like mini workshop that I made um, called Wake Up to Your Specific Person. You can wake up to your specific person. That is not outside of your power. Literally, that you can create that. I know it sounds bizarre that you're going to wake up and have your specific person next to you, but if you assume it and you believe it and you feel it and this is your reality, then you're going to see it happen. Again, because I know it sounds strange to think about this because still you're like, I don't know how anyone could just end up in my bed. But if you start to ask yourself like, Think of bridge of events that could create it. The bridge of events could create that. Like your specific person could just miss you and like <laughs> be obsessed with you so much that they just go into your house, right? Or they could, I don't know, forget that their house, your house is their house. Like there is, I know it sounds kind of bizarre, but remember the only reason that we're not seeing it is because we're not opening our mind to it. And honestly, I'd be pretty terrified <laughs> if I woke up or I mean, maybe not terrified, but I'd be pretty nervous if I woke up and my specific person was just in my bed, right? Because you might be like, oh my gosh, I'm not ready. I don't drive morning breath, like things like that. So it doesn't have to be that intense, obviously. So remember, um, quantum leaping is sometimes not that we don't want it, but sometimes it's better to have this bridge of events unfold. I would say it's always good because I'm someone who likes the process. So the, the middle is like the best because if you think about manifesting your specific person, what are the 
parts that you like? What's the, what is it that you want to do with your specific person? Go on dates, get texted, have fun, be loved, right? That actually has nothing to do with being in a relationship or being married, right? It's so it's kind of like if we can associate and remember, it's kind of the middle that is the creative portion. You're actually, which is funny because again, you're going to be okay with the middle, but because you're actually okay with the middle, you exhibit patience. And if you look at your internal state, you're going to realize that it matches perfectly the end. And then you're going to manifest instantaneously. I know it's weird. It's paradoxical, but that is, that's the reality of manifestation. And because of this, I actually wanted to kind of include, it's a success story I included in a couple of videos ago, but it kind of, I included a bunch of success stories kind of to, to show a lot of abundance around here, but I wanted to include it again today only because it did not get the light or the time that I feel like it deserves. So this person commented on my video of manifested text in 30 seconds. And again, <laughs> there was a lot of manifestations on that one, but they wrote, this is really scary. I got the message as soon as I felt it. I'm actually shaking because it's been a year with no contact. So if you watched my last few videos, you've seen this one before. Um, it did kind of just happen kind of recently. I think so. Because, yeah, it would have been a couple days ago. That's what the 20 hours ago was from. But think about that. That's even what I was talking about where they're like, it's, it's so scary how quick you can manifest. Yeah, your specific person waking up in your bed, that seems <laughs> pretty scary. And so it's like that's that's an aspect, an idea that I feel like is um, it can feel pretty crazy. But look, if this person can do it, then anyone can do it. You don't have to worry. Again, if you don't though, that's okay. If you're watching the manifest a text in 30 seconds video and you don't manifest instantly, that's okay. It doesn't mean that you're bad or you're messing up your manifestation or you're doing anything wrong. That's not the case at all. You have the reality to change whatever you want. And a lot of the times it is the bridge of events taking us perfectly where we want to go. So when we focus on why we want what we want, we are going to be infinitely more in the end state than anything um, you could ever imagine. But remember, your manifestation, your creation is already here. You already have it. You don't need anything else. You don't need anything extra. If you literally focus on why you want what you want, you're going to get into the conviction and live and manifest and create exactly what you want. I literally guarantee it. You cannot fail. If you did have any questions on this, definitely leave them in the comment section below. Remember, you can also reach out to me on my website at kyleaugustcoaching.com. And if you know for a fact that you don't have to do anything to create and manifest exactly what you want, leave a thumbs up on this video and then make sure to subscribe if you want so you can comment your success story just like the one you've seen down below and I can make a total video about you. Thank you so much for stopping by today and I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'll actually see all the members, I almost forgot, at 10 a.m. today. 10 a.m. Eastern time, I'm going live for my members as well. So make sure to hop in, come and hang out. We're gonna have a lot of fun and we're gonna manifest your specific person.